welcoming my fellow G-Walkers to another episode of Laugh from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So just recapping from yesterday, where I had this to say from last week's episode. But on to our activities of today. We woke up early to make our way to the Diamond Head State Monument, as well as other things that you have to wait until next week's episode to find out. Well, Monday was a jam-packed, activity-filled day that could be summed up with this music video. But yeah, starting out with a must-do while in Oahu early morning hike up to the top of the Diamond Head State Monument to catch the Hawaiian sunrise. One, two, three. <laughs> then doing a scenic walk up the trails to the lookout up at Makapu'u Point. Then bringing the wife to this surprise. Visiting the place where one of our favorite Netflix shows, Terrace House Aloha State, was set. So, were you surprised? Yeah, really. Welcome to Terrace House. <laughs> <laughs> Making a stop at the famous Pearl Harbor. Then showing our inner foodies by getting some local grub at the Island Manapua Factory. As well as checking out the popular Leonard's for some Malasada Puffs. Then in the evening, the wife and I toured Waikiki, going to the famous Waikiki Surf Alley. Had a romantic walk along the beach with Diamond Head in the background. Then going back to when I was at home, checking out videos on Earthcam of the Waikiki Beach. Located where we were in the general area of the pier. Jumping up and down, trying to stand out. Just to see if we made an appearance on the broadcast of the Earth Cam here. And afterwards, we settled on a spot along the beach to catch once again another glorious Hawaiian sunset, tracking the location of the sun from when it rose yesterday morning until it went down. The wife and I also checked out a couple of night markets in the area, buying some delicious $5 mango and tapioca in a cup, which is definitely another must try while you're here on the island. We also headed to the parking lot of where the pop-up shop featured in the Terrace House Aloha State series. The punch bowl was once located before having some dinner at the Asian food hall. A pretty cool Asian themed styled food court where we tried a delicious special gyudon bowl as well as the pork katsu curry here. How is it? But now, on to today, our second last day here in Hawaii, where we actually have several things lined up for us. We'll see just what we're up to today.
narrating what happened yesterday. We went to the local Domino's to get my bucket list item of getting a Hawaiian pizza in Hawaii. We then went to the must visit while you're in Hawaii Polynesian Cultural Center where we met our amazing tour guide named Nephi of whom Full of Energy brought us to many informative sites as well as other shows that we could have not had gone to without him. Another fun thing that happened yesterday was seeing a Polynesian doppelganger slash impersonator of my buddy Ronnie here in Hawaii. The wife and I also had turns getting laid. All right, and action. Here we go. Okay. And then my turn. Mahalo. Mahalo. A tradition here while in Hawaii. <laughs> Attending a luau here with an all-you-can-eat feast as well as a Polynesian dinner show where we also had bottomless pineapple pina coladas. And to wrap up the night, we got to see this Broadway caliber show called Ha! Breath of Life showcasing dances and the different wardrobes from all the Polynesian areas. So yeah guys, a definite must do while in Oahu is to go visit the Polynesian Cultural Center. Now on to today, comparing to how the view and the weather was just 24 hours earlier. I spent time on the hotel balcony to see if the weather would be clear before going with the wife to Waikiki Beach to catch our last sunrise in Hawaii this morning. We were also able to offer up the lays that we received from last night's luau to the one and only Duke Paoa Kahanamoku statue. One more. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, good job. <laughs> and seeing all these active people out on the beach this early in the morning, this had motivated me to rent my second surfboard on this trip, attempting once again to surf with some action shots from my GoPro. Woo! Going sunrise surfboarding in Waikiki Beach. And not really being able to properly stand up on my board and surf, Guess who took a break to pay homage to the Cousin Faye doing a couple of Hawaiian dances while they were on the Hawaiian beaches? Then re-rent another surfboard and try again? Until they were finally able to do this. Paddle, 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 paddle. So now I can officially say that I've surfed the beaches of Costa Rica, surfed Kuda Beach up in Bali, and now finally have surfed the beaches in Hawaii. Waikiki Beach. Finally got my first surfing. <laughs> oh. And after convincing the wife to try to get up on the surfboard to do a couple of photo ops while we still had the surfboard rental. <laughs> <laughs> we had this to say to finish out on Waikiki Beach. Mahalo! <laughs> and this to say from last night to wrap up our trip here in Hawaii. Aloha! Aloha! Until we meet again! Mahalo and aloha until we meet again. 
So prior to going to the airport yesterday, the wife and I checked out the shop called 88Ts, a store where one of the members from Terrace House Aloha Estate has her clothing line with, where the wife was pretending she was working at and making her latest purchase in Hawaii. We also in the evening tried to catch one last Hawaiian sunset driving all the way to the top of a Tantalus lookout with a view all over the greater Honolulu area. And a beautiful sunset would have been seen if the clouds weren't in the way. But yeah, recalling last week when we got some Happy Meals and some toys that came with it in Hawaii. Using both Ariel and Chewbacca here as our companions on our trips with the Mustang. We arrived to the airport last night, having to say goodbye to our previously mentioned rental car that had served us so well on this trip this past week. Bye car, thank you for your service in Hawaii. Bye Stangy. Anyways, on a brief stopover at LAX this morning, guess who while editing videos at the airport still couldn't get enough of watching sunrises on their vacation. But yeah, while on the plane back home, still doing their Duolingo while on vacay, check out who now has a 2400 day streak on said Duolingo. And speaking of celebrations, I have a quick birthday shout out to a friend that I made at the Halloween beach volleyball party who we have a secret handshake with. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Renee. Happy birthday, Renee. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your friends and family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah guys, if you didn't notice already in the background, we're currently waiting for our luggage to get in from our flight. And so we'll just wrap it up for today, as well as wrap it up for our amazing Hawaii trip. And I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Guys, even though it seemed like I was just in Hawaii yesterday, I'm already missing the beaches and all the fun that I had while I was there. I would even set aside time to watch on the laptop some Earth Cam videos, reminiscing on how I was on those exact beaches surfing just 48 hours ago. So to prepare to get a beach body for next time, just like the surfers there, I'll get back on the stationary bike for a nice little workout. And also because I'll probably be tired going in tonight for my first night shift in over two weeks, working only four shifts in the past month, starting a set of three night shifts, I better get my workout on while I still have some energy. But before I make my commute thinking about all the good times I've had over the past week while I'm at work, we're going to take you to yet another music video of our amazing day at the Polynesian Cultural Center. <laughs> pretty busy shift being out of work for a while and getting pretty decent sleeps out of sheer exhaustion over the past couple of days and in between my night shift. I'm just editing a bit of live from last week footage before I go in for my second of my three shifts and a little bit lackluster I know but I'll see you guys again and resume this episode tomorrow. So last night guys guess who was redeployed to work on a medicine unit. But luckily, with the help of my colleagues, shoutouts to Karen, Aaron, Rawa, and Taylor, this guy was able to survive his shift. 
And another note to add after my shift was done, I coincidentally ran into this nurse, a family friend who has made several previous cameos on Live From Last Week in the past, wearing these pretty cute reindeer ears for the holiday season. It was great running into you earlier, Ronalyn. And on that note, before I go back to my home unit to work my third night shift in a row tonight, and during the second week of Advent, doing a Sunday Catholic Mass at home via YouTube, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends I made during her university days when she was back at nursing school. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Vanessa. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my former coworkers who you guys remember I met up with when I was in Ottawa visiting my sister. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Alyssa. Happy birthday, Alyssa. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who I last played indoor with a couple weeks back and who you guys remember I ran into during my travels in Vancouver. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Chris. Happy birthday, Chris. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After a busy stretch of three night shifts, of which if my phone battery didn't run out this morning, I would have recorded something similar to what happened a couple weeks back when I got off another set of stressful night shifts. It was actually so stressful that I did what I've done to cope in the past after bad shifts, getting some McDonald's post-shift Happy Meals in order to get my mind off things and make myself happy. And speaking of happy things, one thing that brought me joy before my night shift last night, outside the parking garage, was this unplanned encounter. Look who I found. <laughs> We're working night shift together. Night shift. <laughs> Randomly running into Joanne, a friend that we made in Mexico during Josie's wedding there a couple weeks back. Anyways guys, spending the whole day trying to relax and de-stress, still thinking about slash daydreaming slash going to sleep and actually dreaming about being in Hawaii once again. I'm looking back at just being on an island, not having to worry about anything while being on vacation. So before I go back to daydreaming once again, We'll just sum it up and wrap up this week's episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.